Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now this morning has felt like a bit more of a struggle than it usually is and it's taken me ages to get through my morning routine. I did thankfully still manage to get up at half seven, which I'm really grateful for, but then it took me about half an hour of sitting on the end of my bed before I could actually get myself going rather than the usual 20 minutes. Then I was really slow to have my water and my vitamin C and brush my teeth and put all my layers on to get ready to go out for my walk. So I didn't actually leave the house to go on my walk until about 25 past eight, I think it was. So, you know, almost an hour after I'd woken up, the walk was bitterly cold. I think it's like minus five or something when I went for my walk. So yeah, that was um, hell. But you know, when you put yourself through pain and suffering earlier in the morning, that's what makes you stronger. Whilst I was on my walk, I was sort of contemplating what I'm going to do today. And my mind is definitely trying to persuade me not to go round to my other garage to work on my car because it's so cold. And I might not end up doing that. I don't know. I have got footage that I can sit at home and edit. But yeah, I'm kind of torn because I know that getting out in the cold and ignoring my mind that's trying to seek comfort, you know, put myself through the hardship of getting out in the bit of cold and working, I know that's gonna make me stronger. Whereas giving in to my mind and allowing it to drag me towards comfort, you know, that's what makes men weaker. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. I'm definitely gonna be going to the gym with my beautiful girlfriend, Kat. Now, yesterday I had a day off the gym. And I assumed that Kat wasn't working tomorrow and she sort of arranged her gym routine so that she's gonna be doing arms and chest next. So I sort of planned to do back and shoulders today and then do arm and chest with her tomorrow. But um, yeah, because we're gonna to go to the gym together, I'm basically gonna switch my order around. So I'll do arm and chest with her today and then do back and shoulders tomorrow. But um, yeah, me getting that wrong about her routine is a reason why I probably should have gone to the gym yesterday. But um, yeah, I, I, I got her days mixed up. But yeah, it's now like quarter past nine, you know, so an hour and 45 minutes after I've woken up. And as usual, I'm turning the camera on, you know, before I've had my workout, then I've got to have my cold shower. So um, yeah, this morning routine today is happening really slow, like which is then gonna hinder what I can get done today, you know, especially if I'm gonna head out. So yep, yeah, it's not great taking this long to get through my morning routine, but you know what? The main thing is I'm super grateful that I did manage to get up at half seven and somewhat I need to ignore my mind focusing on how long it's taking me to get through my morning routine because it will use that as a reason for me to not bother getting up early, right? I regularly have these thoughts that are telling me that, you know, I may as well just get up at half eight and then get through my morning routine in an hour rather than getting up at half seven and it taking two hours or more to get through it. And, you know, deep down, I know that's wrong. I know that I feel way more proud of myself if I get up at half seven, even if it means that getting up at half seven doesn't actually gain me any time in the day. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. But yeah, I need to sort of make up some time now and dive straight into my workout. I'm actually not sure what to do on my workout because normally my workouts follow what I did in the gym the day before or, you know, a couple of days ago. And yeah, I'm at the point now where I haven't been to the gym since, well, a few days ago. You know, the day before yesterday I did boxing and the day before that I went to the gym and that was leg session and I followed up with a leg session next day. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to take the thought out of it, keep it simple, just do push-ups and sit-ups, which is just sort of go-to exercises really when I don't know what to do. And then for the third exercise, I think I'll just bang out some shrugs, so let's go. Well, that was hell to get through, but not as much as the next stage, which is 
to persuade myself to get in a freezing cold shower for two and a half minutes. But uh, yeah, once that's done, then I can reward myself with some breakfast. All right, so in the end, I decided to come to the garage. By the time I got here, and by the time I just had to send a couple of emails, it's now 1 p.m., and my neighbor who comes around here with his greyhounds is currently walking his greyhounds on the walking machine that he's got. Um, so he's got his generator going, so I can't start filming straight away. Although, you know, I still need to uh, get my stuff out and get ready. So, yeah, I've come around the garage. One of the reasons why I actually ended up coming around the garage is because I've got use of this car, my girlfriend Kat's car. Um, so it actually has heating and stuff. So I thought, you know, that's the sort of reason to not let the cold weather stop me. Um, and it's actually quite a bright day, although uh, I'm sure it's freezing out there. I don't know yet. I'm still in this comfortable, warm climate. So, um, yeah, decided to just pull my finger out and get around the garage, although realistically I've only got a few hours. So, um, yeah, going to get myself ready. And then once my neighbour goes with his greyhounds, I can uh, get cracking and hopefully have another productive half a day around the garage before getting home and doing whatever work I need to online before then going to the gym with Kat and then um, yeah diving into some more work I think in the evening so uh, yeah let's get cracking man all right well today has been an absolute nightmare around the garage I didn't end up starting uh, filming the video but uh, I decided to get myself ready for what I'm going to be filming next and yeah even that was just a nightmare. There was just one particular thing I was trying to do on some parts to get them ready to fit to the car, which I obviously was planning to do next time I go around there and uh, start a video. And yeah, I just failed and just struggled. Like, yeah, it was an absolute nightmare, uh, but it is what it is. I kind of feel like it's been a wasted day around there, but it hasn't been a wasted day because you know, if I didn't struggle to do what I did today, then I just would have struggled to do that next time I go around there. So. Yeah, it is what it is. We take the rough with the smooth when we're messing around with old cars, but um, essentially it's just rusty old parts and trying to deal with them in the cold weather. Um, yeah, not, not a great combination, but you know what? I'm not feeling disheartened. Definitely had thoughts going through my mind of, you know, just selling up and giving up with the cars. Um, and in that moment, those thoughts are real, you know? Um, but yeah, I can take a step back and look at the bigger picture and just accept what is, you know. If, if you can't change something, then you need to accept it because if you don't accept it, you're just gonna be internally battling with it and it's gonna make you feel uh, worse about the situation, you know. It's not my fault that I really struggled with these parts today. It is beyond my control, but I am in control of how I see the situation and I am in control of how I move forward with dealing with the situation. And I am in control of how much I allow the situation to dwell in my mind and affect my future, you know? So um, yeah, it is what it is. Now I've got to get through the traffic to get home and uh, me and my beautiful girlfriend are gonna be going to the gym together this evening. Well, we've had a change of plan and for the second night in a row, I'm flopping the gym. When I got home from the garage, got through the traffic, Kat's sat nav in her car seemed to send me a route that was ridiculous, but I'm guessing there must have been loads of traffic uh, on the other roads. And then when I got back, I forgot that I was supposed to get back relatively early because we needed to do food shopping and go to the gym. And um, yeah, basically Kat decided that she was gonna drop me off at the gym and then go food shopping and then yeah, at the time, I just didn't fancy that. I just made the decision there and then that I was going to flop the gym again, and we both went food shopping. Now, I still can fulfill my quota if I go to the gym on Saturday, as well as doing a boxing session. Won't be the first time I've done that. Um, yeah, part of me is feeling like I'm being a, a bit of a weak loser by flopping the gym tonight, but... Um, yeah, the decision was made and, and that's that. And it does at least give me an opportunity to dive into some editing this evening, which I've already actually started doing. I really need to get the next car video out tomorrow. And part of me, well, a big part of me actually, would love it if I was able to get the editing done so that the video is ready to put out tomorrow and then get myself back around the garage tomorrow at some point to continue with um, what I was really struggling with today. But we'll see how that goes. My main priority now is to get the video out for tomorrow and 
I really must go to the gym tomorrow. But right now, it's dinner time and we're having Fajitas. Absolutely love Fajitas. You get the kit, which comes with the stuff that you uh, cook the chicken in. And it comes with like salsa to put in the wraps. Um, and yeah, I always add some Peronese or Sriracha or, or whatever. Guacamole, but yeah. Big fan of chicken, but also big fan of chicken fajitas. And I know it's pronounced fajita, but I'm not Mexican. <laughs> All right, it's now at half 11 and I've just had a really late shower because I didn't have a shower when I got back from the garage. I just got changed and uh, went straight out to shopping with Kat. But um, yeah, really need to get ready for bed. Having a late shower is not a good idea when you are trying to get to sleep and then get up early in the morning. But um, yeah, today, if I'm honest, has been another flop. And that might seem sort of an unreasonable statement to make, you know, because I have still got up at half seven, went through my morning routine, you know, had my workout here at home, etc., etc. Still went round the garage to work in the cold. And, you know, the only real sort of flop, if you look at it on paper, was the fact that I didn't go to the gym. But, you know, I understand how these things can incrementally change in your life. And then before you know it, you're back to square one. Square one to me is turning myself back into a waste man loser and taking drugs. And I know that might seem extreme for me to start talking about that sort of thing when I've basically just missed the gym two days in a row. But, you know, nowadays I like to acknowledge you know, whenever anything has been a flop, even if it seems like it's only been a slight flop, and even if the rest of my day has seemed like I have been working hard, because when I acknowledge these little flops, it means that I'm not making excuses for these little flops. And then when I'm not making excuses for these little flops, these little flops can't, you know, sort of creep up on me and subtly uh, take me down a road where I'm going back to square one. So, you know, it's not me being, being hard on myself. It's not me exaggerating. It's me just acknowledging exactly what's going on. And, you know, what's going on at the moment is I seem to have had two days in a row where I haven't been to the gym, where I've sort of persuaded myself not to go to the gym. Now, it's not like I'm lying to myself. You know, this evening I did get home late I did forget that Kat was not only waiting for me so that we could go to the gym but also waiting to go for a food shop so you know they are sort of valid reasons but you know my lazy mind doesn't need much of an excuse to revert back to what it knows you know what I've allowed it to cultivate over decades of being lazy so I do need to acknowledge that you know two days not going to the gym when I really wanted to isn't acceptable now, if we look at the bigger picture, I still can go to the gym tomorrow, which is Friday, and then go boxing Saturday and go to the gym Saturday night. You know, it's be like the third time I've ever done that. So it's not like I've never done it before. So I can still, you know, hit my quota. And, you know, I am still living a busy life. I am still working hard in all areas of my life. I'm spread quite thinly. And um, yeah, I am doing my best. You know, it's not like I'm beating myself up too much, but I am fully acknowledging that it's not good that I've you know, planned to go to the gym twice and then not gone. You know, that, that could start a habit, which is uh, not what I want. And, you know, the fact that nowadays I do only commit to three gym sessions a week plus my two boxing sessions means that I do have room to manoeuvre things and change plans like I have the last couple of days but it should always be justified by me working hard at other things, you know, which I can confidently say um, is the case. So that's it for another video. I'm going to get myself ready and go to bed. Massive thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Hope it's been somewhat helpful or motivational. I'll be back for another video tomorrow where in terms of my fitness, I must do better. But the day always starts with that initial battle in the morning and they're hoping to continue my streak and get on time. So feel free to tune in tomorrow. Until then, feel free to say hello in the comments and we'll have a chat or get in touch through the usual channels. All links to everything will be in the description as usual. But other than that, I'll chat to you tomorrow. <laughs>